right, good morning and welcome to Bullet Mine for YouTube channel. Well, um, these few videos I'm going to do are gonna uh, be in English because I'm going to present the, the Oculus Rift. Um, why I do make these videos in English? Uh, because, uh, first of all, it's the language that most people could understand, can understand in the world. And uh, because also the Oculus is uh, come from the uh, United States, so uh, most buyers can come can come from there. So uh, I'll try to exp express myself as good as I can. Uh, sorry if I don't say the words that should be because um, I have not a very extended vocabulary. So I'll try to make my best to make you understand. Uh, what uh, you need to do to play with the Oculus Rift. Uh, so, um, this video is essentially to present you how to, um, excuse me, how to uh, launch the, the Team Fortress 2 from Steam with the Oculus Rift. So now I have connected the, the Oculus to, the, um, uh, to the, the computer with the HDMI uh, cable and um, we are gonna just start now to, to show you how to play so mm, what you, you need to do is when you're in steam um, excuse me I have the steam in in French maybe I can put it in English or not um, I don't know where to do it and I, I think I am not going to do it now because it's gonna take long interface maybe uh, French I can put it in English maybe yes that's it so I'm going to put it in English as uh, as this you're going to you're going to to see it uh, well okay this is going to be good connecting to Steam mm -hmm. here we are so good uh, you want to go to library all games and there you should have your Team Fortress 2 game uh, you right click and click proprieties and then <coughs> you should go to um, set launch option in the general um, and you should uh, enter this, this command um, uh, yes the air so don't forget this this little thing that I don't know how to say it in English so uh, you just copy and put this uh, three three characters into this and press OK and close. Now you want to launch the game by um, the by Steam. If you if as me you launch the game by a launcher, you know the uh, a shortcut, uh, you can do this thing uh, directly from the game. You'll see that uh, launching the game with uh, this command you won't have just from the beginning, the the game in in Oculus mode, you need to go to the to the to the console in Team Fortress game. So um, once you have launched the game, and I'll switch with um, with the traps recorder, and I'll come back right now. So see you now. Okay, so here I'm back. Uh, I've just seen that with the. Um, with the game Chasia Studio, I uh, I can record the the game right now because I have it in Windows mode. Uh, so uh, let's do it like this. Uh, I should I probably need to use Scrap when I'm going to play to a server. So <clears throat> let's do it. You'll see that you have this activate virtual reality mod um, here button um, that is just recent, of course. But uh, you better check, um, ch uh, choose your server, sorry, before uh, because the you you don't you can't uh, read uh, very good uh, the the names of the server and see all the players' stats and map names and everything when you have an Oculus. So uh, you take just uh, any any server or, or your favorite server. Now I do I take just anyone to to show you how to to do it. So. Uh, as you don't use this but uh, this button in in the in the menu, uh, you wanna use the co the console, the game console. So I check grab the soldier, and then once you're here in normal mode, 
uh, you want to press the S9 key to open the console. If you don't know uh, if the S9 is not your key, you can go to Options, Keyboard, go just down and see the Toggle Developer Console and just change it or apply it or do whatever you want. So once you have opened the console, you want to put VR slash activate. Once you do that, the game is going to set in virtual reality mode so you can play it with the Oculus Rift. So uh, it takes a little time to configure it, and once it is, um, you are going to be able to play with uh, with the with the glasses, with the Oculus, of course. So <clears throat> I hope that uh, Fraps is recording, of course. So uh, now I have the I have the Oculus over my head and I'm just going to show you for those who already have the, the Oculus and want to see this video with uh, the Oculus because you can see it as I am seeing it with uh, this video YouTube just connect your your Oculus um, Oculus Rift to, to the computer uh, and put the, this video on YouTube to in wild uh, size and you're going to you're going to see it as I am seeing it just right now. So you have few modes to 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 choose uh, to play the game. You have ones that you, when you move your mouse, uh, your head doesn't move. When you move your head, your pointer just follow the, the screen as I'm doing now. Um, in this mode that I'm using, I have not the the eye uh, axis activated. I just have to control it with my head. So uh, so. Give me just a little minute. I'm going to try to make this video as as this you can see me playing uh, also. So just a minute, and I'm yours. Of um, from the webcam, so you can see me in game and also see what is happening in the video. So, um, all right. If I don't put my my fingers on the right keys, oh, I won't see nothing there. So uh, this is a little preview of the game. Um, you see that for this mod I have to move all the heads um, to the target, but also I can move my mouse from left to right to, to move the pointer. So it's a good mod and for me um, is the, the best mod because um, I can't play the sniper uh, in the game because of these mods are not um, good for the sniper, you, you know, you have the, or the black hole, you have to found the black hole and target with your mouse and it's a little compl complicated, so, um, you won't be able to play the sniper with, uh, with the Oculus, but, uh, you may have no problem with that, maybe if you don't play sniper. I do play a lot, so it's a big, it's a little bit bad, but, um, but, uh, this is not a really good problem. This is very good mention in the game. You will see that uh, to to know to see to be able to to cap the, the the distances will be very great. Uh, you see all the things, all the stuff around you are very very well. The the, the only problem for now and it's normal because the beginning is the developer kit that I have is the, the resolution of the videos inside. I've seen that they are just working on the um, uh, high definition virtual reality model that should be able to display the to, to change the display screen and to double the, the resolution. Uh, it could be great but what can we do? This is just very awesome even with the even with seeing some little pixel when you just look at very well. But this is probably a little bit bad up there, but it's normal. This is just the beginning of this of the Oculus is the beginning of something very strong and enormous. So uh, I may change the class so you can see something else. Just show you a rocket just going there. I you see the the stuff going on there the the immersion very well. So uh <clears throat> let's take the heavy for example to show you the 
particles of very well. You see the thing of this is flying the holes in the in the ground or in where it's just it's amazing. Um what can I take care of uh, I'm gonna take this thing. Uh where is my mouse? There, okay, so uh I show you the snipe, what's the problem? Well that you see very well this this kind of mug you see your weapon going down when you're looking down, it's come up when you look up it goes away. So now um to show you with this knife you see when I move my head the the hole the targeting hole is not moving. So when I move my mouth the hole is moving and my head also but uh it's very just difficult to point because when I move from the vertical axis uh and my my say the, the head doesn't follow. Uh, when I move from the the horizontal axis, the head follow, but it, it's kind of strange. You, you just can't control it very good. A bit is uh okay. This is very bad. It's a very bad move because you you see as if the hole were moving very fast. Uh, okay, so it's just impossible to play with the sniper. Oh, already from now uh, with the Oculus. <coughs> Uh, I just show you the the the, the engineer uh, to show you how is the the input. You see very you see very well this the, the items that you put there. You could touch it, but it's very strange. It's it's awesome, just awesome. Just I I, I say you the only thing that is not so good is the, the resolution because I am not very able to. To, to read everything, I just see that I have 175 uh, meters, uh, 125 for the life, and kind of 7 minutes and 40 seconds for the game, but I can't read, I'm not able to read nothing from the the top and right side, you know, when you see my, uh, the, the, ah, this is blue, kind of, Yes, so, so this is uh, the preview of the game. You want to see, I'm just going to show you, and I am going to put the link in the description. Uh, so I deactivate the, the Oculus mod. To deactivate it, of course, I just have to show you how to deactivate it. Um, you um, put VR, uh, the same slash, and de de uh, disable, sorry. No, deactivate it. Deactivate. And you just... Uh, no, it's not that. So, if you put V R the the slash and D, you choose the first one down, and you see that the the actual mode will be like it alone. So, uh, let's see. Yes, I let, like this is. Yes, is deactivated. That's the command. So you have V R activated and V R deactivated. Deactivate. Sorry. So, uh, I just show you. There's a little bug that I don't know why it happened. Uh, it's happening. You see, your screen is kind of yeah, it's a bit like that. It's not good to play. Maybe if you wanna, if you're crazy and you wanna play like this, <laughs> no problem. But it's kind of weird to play like this. So, um, yes, to show you the console, uh, you have. It won't be difficult to 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 found the commands. You see, if you put VR, you have all the stuff related to the virtual reality mod. So you can you can press the the arrow key and just see everything. Uh, you want to look, so I am going to show you now. And you have the description, the link in the description. You want to go to the Wiki Team Fortress uh, guide for the Oculus Rivers. Uh, you have just everything set it on on it. Uh, I didn't configure it for my uh, for my eyes, but you should do it. Um, you see, you have a lot of commands to set to to set the Oculus just for you, you know. And in there, you have the commands to to change the the targeting mod and and everything. You can you just gonna look this official uh, guide if you don't uh, if you, if you already didn't. So uh, this is all for the for the Oculus Rift uh, guide for Team Fortress. I am going to make some other guides for uh, uh, 
for maybe the flight simulator. I found some problems with the flight simulator because it's, it's kind of a hack with the perception program and some other stuff. Uh, yeah, the perception program and with face track noir. Uh, the version 1.8 I thought You'll see that things later. Um, uh, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching this, uh, this video. I hope I'm helped you. Um, I hope, I hope my English, uh, would be as good as you can understand what I wanted to say. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time in the next video. Bye bye.